Some weeks ago, I made a video testing Elixir bass strings, so the ultra thin coding strings that preserve the tone much longer than regular strings. I wanted to try them out because, as I've said, I've been having that tone issue where I basically killed my strings in a matter of days and then I lose that brightness and they just sound kind of dull and dead. In theory, those Elixir strings were supposed to solve that problem and it's been two weeks that uh, I've had them on now, I've been playing a lot and I'm gonna show you what they sound like now. But first, let's uh, see a reminder of what they sounded like on day one. So other than the fact that the bass wasn't properly tuned, the tone is really bright and crisp. Uh, so now we can see two weeks after, after playing a lot, what it sounds like. So you can see that the E and D string are pretty much dead by now. We lost all the high end, they sound super dull. Uh, however, the A and G strings, while they don't sound as crisp as day one, they still sound pretty good. One thing I mentioned in the last video as well was that technique of slapping the strings to get back the tone a little bit. Uh, slapping as in loosening the strings and then pulling them pretty hard. Uh, that didn't work that well in that video. I didn't slap hard enough, but it's been working pretty well for me in the past. So it's something to try on those strings as well to see if I can recover the E and D strings and maybe improve the other ones as well. There was also a comment on that video that that comment was more useful than the whole video itself, to be honest. Uh, one thing he suggested was that I properly intonate my bass. Another thing that that comment did was explaining the proper way to slap the strings to get back the tone. Basically, I needed to slap the strings much harder. And I also probably loosened them a bit too much so they didn't have the tension necessary to essentially pop the shit out of the strings. The last tip was also to use a drumstick in between the strings when slapping them really hard, that's also to protect the wood. I don't have a drumstick handy but I do have a sushi stick. So the idea is to place it below the string you want to slap and rest it above the other strings. So I'm gonna do this here. And this way it breaks everything. Fuck, really? Oh man. Ah, le con, putain. Well, one thing to note is while you want to slap very hard, you don't want to slap too hard as well because I just broke the D string here. Uh, well, I replaced it with the one from the previous set and it went through the same treatment so we can actually compare the tone again. So we'll see three elixir strings after being slapped and one even older uncoated string after being slapped as well. also works very well with elixir strings, they sound pretty much like brand new now, which is amazing. That D string was much older and very dead at that point, so it's not magic as well. Uh, the good news is that riff I played last time doesn't reuse the D string, so I can still finish with that piece. 